Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the most important window form control in C sharp.net and that is a list box control. List box control is used to create a list of items so that user can select one or more items from the list box control. So here we are going to take a very simple example of list box control but before that let's see how to create a window form in C sharp.net. So first open the visual studio and then go to file new and project after that select a language as c sharp and here select window form application now name your application for example list box and then click on ok ok so this is a form we have to design this form Okay, before starting the actual program, let's see how to insert items into a list box control. So there are two or more ways to insert items into a list box control. Let's check one by one. So first to add the items in a list box control, we have to first insert the list box control in our form. So just insert the list box control. Okay, so this is a list box control. List box control is used to show the list of items and user can select one or more items from the list box control. Now if I want to add the items into a list box control then, then we can add it by using coding or by using design. So let's see how to insert the items directly into the list box control. Before that we have to know that the ID of list box control is list box 1. If you don't know how to check the ID, then select the list box control, right click and go to properties. And here the ID of control is given. So this is a very important part of any control, the ID which is important. Now add the items. To add items into a list box control, here select list box. Then here arrow key is given. Just click on this arrow key and then here select edit items okay now here is a dialog box open that is a string collection editor add the items here directly for example i have to add the number of cities so write down for example mumbai pune delhi nagpur etc and then click on okay okay so as you can see the number of items are inserted into a list box control if you want to format this list box or change the size of font then go to the properties and then go to font and here you can change the font size of items in a list box control now this is a one way to insert the items into a list box now let's see the another way to insert the items into a list box control so I am going to delete this list box from here and again insert the list box. Now again the ID of this list box control is list box 1. Ok now I am going to write the code to add items into a list box control. So here is a form given just double click on this form. Ok now here is a one method occur that is a form 1 underscore load now write down the code as for example the id of our list box is list box 1 so write down list box 1 dot items dot add and then in double quotation write down the items and end with semicolon now you can add multiple items uh, here as you want Again, write down list box one dot items dot add and in bracket double quotation pune. Okay, in this way you can add multiple items. Now let's check. Go to the design and run the program. Okay, as you can see, the items are added successfully. So these are the ways to add the items into a list box control. 
now let's move on to our actual program so again i am going to delete this list box now first design the form for that i am going to insert again list box control then i am going to insert a text box after that i am going to add two buttons okay this is a button one to add the items into a list box and then the second button to remove the items from a list box now let's format these controls select all the controls then go to font now here change the font change the font size click on okay okay you can do the formatting as you want now change the name of button 1 and button 2 for that select the button 1 control right click and go to properties and change the text property text that is a button 1 here i am going to add the text as add and for button 2 i am going to name it as remove okay so here when i run the program okay let me first remove these items again go to the coding part and here just delete this okay now when i run the program and i insert something into a text box control and then click on add then the item is added into a list box control and when i select the item from the list box control and then click on remove then the item must be removed from the list box control so this is a simple program now write down the code just double click on the add button and write down the code as for example list box 1 dot items dot add in bracket text box 1 dot text okay what is the meaning of this list box 1 dot items dot add we have to add the items into a list box control and which items which we are inserted into a text box control the id of text box control is text box 1 so here we mention text box 1 dot text whichever we add into our text box is inserted into a list box control when we click on add button now do the same for the second button that is a remove just double click on this remove button okay this is a button 2 and then write down the same code list box 1 dot items dot remove here we have to remove the items and which items which we are selected in a list box control list box 1 dot selected item so we have to remove the items from the list box control and which items which we are selected in a list box control so just go to the design and click on the start button to run the program okay now insert the items you want to add into a list box control so here i am going to insert few items now write down the item name and then click on add as you can see the item which we are inserted into a text box control is inserted into a list box control now again add multiple items like here pune nashik delhi and nagpur okay so in this way you can add multiple items into a list box control now if i want to remove the city nagpur then just select the nagpur and click on remove button so 
so as you can see the city is removed from our list box in this way you can add and remove items in a list box control so it's a very easy i hope you understand if you like this video then please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon thanks for watching